Alright. What's going on everybody? This is a video on um um who killed who. Did Andy Reid kill Michael Vick or or did or did Michael Vick, which they call Coach Killer, kill kill um Andy Reid. Now I'm gonna suppose reading um on my possum if the Eagles could could possibly keep Michael Vick for next season. Which I wouldn't mind, but I, I just let, I would let Foles start just so he could learn some more, so so he can more some more experience with the game. Cause he's not getting no experience on the bench. You get all the lectures you want and be on the bench, but you won't get no experience playing the game. So me personally, I believe Andy Reid killed Michael Vick. He killed Michael Vick's career, even though career, even though Vick is on the end of his career. Andy Reid is the one who called. Andy Reid is the one who ran Michael Vick on all them drop back, do all these set, five to seven step drop backs as he played the game, calling him passing plays 24 7 all day. And then, and Andy Reid and fans, you wonder, you wonder why we always get all these three and outs? It's because of Andy Reid and his passing plays. It's always pass, pass, punt, pass, pass, punt, pass, pass, punt. When you pass that much times, then you go some, you're going to expect some three and outs. That's why you got to run the ball. Now, uh, I think personally, um, we did kill Michael Vick's career. He edited it. And, I mean, Michael Vick, Michael Vick basically tried to be a pocket pass because at first fans say, why don't Michael Vick a pocket passer? It's easy to get more protection that way. And then he tried that, and look at him now. He's taking his five to seven step drawbacks like, like a six foot QB, like J Drew Brees, sitting, um, sitting back there. Boom! Again, again, getting sacked and hit. I haven't seen one play all season where he's been standing on the play after the play. Even after the play, he's on the ground. Vic needs protection. We all understand four fifths of the O line is out, and the only remaining starting offensive lineman is Evan Mathis. He's a good lineman. He's the only good guy on that line. That's a change. Um, I mean, I do believe we did kill Vic Swear. Cause Vic's not the one calling the passing plays. It's Marty Mornowick and Andy Reid. They're the one calling the passing plays, having them do all these seven, five, seven step drop backs, like 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 Peyton Manning, Pitt, or Drew Brees, or Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. My Vic is not your common pocket passer. And then again, I can tell how how Vic playing. Vic playing is scared because every time he run, he's not running forward and trying to get around that contact. He's running forward and then run out of bounds if he's near out of bounds. If he's out not near out of bounds, he'll just slide with his head. And that's why he got the concussion. He went slide, he slid down with his head, and got it on top of him, and hit his head on the ground. And that's why he got the concussion. If you watched it, if you saw that play, you would you would know. You you would see it. I don't know if that's that. I think Reed ruined Michael Vick and Reed ruined his team and Reed's time here is up. I mean, the guys on the radio say my Reed's time is up. Brian Westbrook say Reed's time is up. Um, the whole Eagles fan base believe his time is up. I almost said whole, but majority of the Eagles fan base believe his time is up. And, uh, and the, uh, all these fans saying, get Bill Coward, get John Gruden. Um, hello, newsflash. Court, I mean, coaches that won Super Bowls with, with other teams don't come to another team and win a Super Bowl with that team. John, Ron Jaworski said it himself. That guys had success in the past, and then when they go to a new team, they had no success at all. It's time to switch for new blood, time for a new voice, new direction. On all that's that. Peace out.